There is no let up in the strike by the Kenya Airport's authority workers three days after downing their tools demanding better pay. Despite orders Saturday that they return to work or face the sack, employees in the now busy aviation sector remain unbowed, insisting that they will not return to work until their pay grievances are addressed. Hiyo ni chukumu yao kusema hivyo, lakini sisi tunasema hivyo, la, kwa sababu hahia timiza yale matakwa yetu ambao tunapaswa kuwa tumepata. Na ndiyo mana nimesema hata wakati likuwa na ongea hapa mbeleni, kwa mba hiyo iwe statua mugomo wa wafanyikazi. On its part, the Kenya Airport Authority has issued a second statement on the ongoing strike by the Aviation and Allied Workers Union Sunday. According to the statement sent to newsrooms, the management maintains that the workers are required to return to work by Sunday the 8th of April. Non-compliance with this directive, what the authority warns, will be treated as desertion of duty with subsequent consequences up to and including summary dismissal under canon labor laws. KAA also says it's in the process of issuing dismissal letters and preparing to advertise the positions vacant for qualified Kenyan citizens to apply. We are not going to be able in this interview to negotiate or to discuss the negotiation because it's very, very clear what needs to be done. When staff are engaged in an illegal strike, it's very clear what needs to happen. Number one, return back to work. Once they are working, the negotiations will continue between the management of KEA and the workers. Efforts by the Central Organization of Trade Union Officials, led by its Secretary General Francis Atoli, to intervene yielded no fruits two days later, with the Secretary General urging the KAA management to a roundtable meeting to discuss the issue. Nobody has been serious as far as the management of KAA is concerned. They were supposed to be very serious in these negotiations, and they took it casually, lightly, less serious, and that is why we are here. So Koto has taken over the leadership of, uh, of staff, or of the union concerned, and uh, we want to secure a return to work uh, formula as soon as possible. The Kenya Airports Authority management says in its statement that unionizable workers have reported to work at the Eldred, Malindi, Wilson, Manda, Kisumu, Moi and Jomo Kenyatta International Airports, though the situation on the ground following a spot check by Citizen TV shows a different picture. Evelyn Wambui, Sunday Live.